Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Beloved Masters, the ascension goal for humanity, within this era of earthly experience, is to integrate all of the remaining soul fragments of the individual soul self within the third and fourth dimensions. This will initiate a reunion with your entry-level spiritual triad, a sacred facet of your white fire god seed atom, which is awaiting your return within the first subplane of the fifth dimension. This is humanity's major goal for this round of evolution. Remember, all creation the omniverse at all levels is composed of crisp cosmic essence that was radiated forth from the heart core of the Supreme Creator. This divine energy is composed of vibrational frequencies of infinite variations which were designed to interact with each other in an inconceivable number of ways. They are separated from each other by multitudes of white fire memory seed atom holographic patterns. The activated, programmed light substance of the Creator contains all the components of creation for each holographic divine blueprint of the future. These innumerable, celestial programmed holograms of light make up the complexity of the many levels of material manifestation. The terms used to describe the multiple levels of creation, such as dimensions and subdimensions are used to bring some clarity and understanding of the very complex nature of the reality in which all creation exists. We have defined the stages or levels of the ascension process that humanity is currently experiencing as stages of evolution. First all of humanity must balance and harmonize their mental, emotional, physical and etheric bodies within the highest vibratory fields of the third dimension in order to graduate or ascend in consciousness to entry levels of the fourth dimension. The same rites of passage are currently taking place amongst the starseed souls who are preparing to graduate into the entry levels of fifth dimensional conscious awareness. Many of the advanced souls who have incarnated within the last hundred or so years came in with their third and lower fourth dimensional soul fragments already harmonized and integrated, and many came in with a good portion of their higher, fourth dimensional fragments integrated as well. These precious souls are the ones who agreed to sink into the illusion of the third or fourth dimensional density so they could become the vanguard ways howers who would lead the way onto the upward spiraling path into the entry level realms of the fifth dimension. As these brave light bearers are lifted up, so is the earth and all humanity. A period of great renunciation prefaces the complete transition out of the fourth human kingdom, the seven sub-levels of the fourth dimension. You must experience the challenges and tests of the fourth stages of duality and polarity, so that you may return to the originally designed path of light and shadow. In doing so, you will gain entrance into the fifth kingdom of the sacred triad which is the foundation of the fifth dimensional reality. Each person's renunciation process varies depending on the overlay of negative vibrational patterns they carry within from his or her many past life experiences. Your goal is to become a living, consciously integrated, soul-infused personality. A soul-inspired mind seeks and conveys inspired wisdom and a harmonious persona. Over time, you will tap into your higher, intuitive nature which will assist you in developing a more refined and expansive perception. A completion of the fourth stage of evolution will result in a fusion of love and higher intelligence between the soul and personality. Yes, it is possible to achieve this spiritual state of soul awareness while in the physical vessel. At this time, many starseed souls are close to accomplishing this goal. It will become a common occurrence over the next 50 or so years and the ascension of humanity will accelerate throughout this century. This unique phase of ascension was designed to be a group ascension whereby groups of specialized souls, who came forth together into this sub-universe, are gradually reuniting. Your journey into extreme duality and polarity is complete, and you are joining together once more as you begin this amazing adventure back into the higher realms of light and life. You will learn that in order to become a self-master, you must be, self-determined self-conditioned self-aware soul-conscious gradually, from a higher vantage point, a self-master learns to respond as an observer to the current worldly environment and the mundane life experiences. You will learn what it means to be in the world, but not of it. The soul's nature is to love, therefore, you will begin to experience abounding joy and radiant love from within your heart or soul. You will still experience personal and physical distress, however, you will have the wisdom and the tools to transcend it. 
The soul's main purpose for incarnating in a body is not to learn, it is a desire to experience. Within its original realm, the soul has cosmic consciousness. The soul assumes a physical vessel in order to experience physicality, and in that state of being it seeks realization and understanding via various degrees of physical brain consciousness. A soul-infused personality's main purpose is to become proficient in bringing down, into the physical plane, the highest frequencies of God consciousness that he or she can embody and radiate out into the world. This results in illumination and self-mastery. Through the process of integration and assimilation, the soul self slowly reunites all the fragments of itself within the third and fourth dimensions into the physical vessel, thereby creating a soul-infused personality. The will of the soul and the will of the human personality must blend in order to align with the next higher level of God consciousness. Remember, the soul is only a dim reflection, a facet of its original God seed atom within this sub-universe. The soul's ultimate goal has always been to eventually return to a never-ending and evolving higher state of divine consciousness. While in a physical vessel within this solar system and during these times of transformation your return journey from materiality involves experiencing and harmonizing the various sub-dimensional levels of sentience, or what has been designated as stages of conscious awareness, which necessitates correcting and harmonizing the various negative thought forms of consciousness within the many soul fragments you have created down through the ages. In doing so, you are gradually integrating these precious facets of yourself. Over time, while on this journey of ascension, you have integrated all of the lower frequency soul fragments you have created. You are now in the process of downloading, via your soul star, all of the higher frequency facets of soul consciousness within the multiple levels of the fourth dimension. The superconscious mind and the soul work in harmony, one with another once a person begins to awaken to and heed the inner voice of spirit. The soul self begins to download or radiate its storehouse of mental and emotional wisdom, via its memory seed atoms, into the individual's physical, emotional, mental, and etheric being. These memory cells of consciousness are carefully monitored and are calibrated to be of no higher frequencies than the physical vessel can accommodate. These thought form patterns will gradually increase in light quotient. They will consist of higher frequency energy as the aspirant progresses on the path of light. In graduated stages, there is a fusion or conscious merging of the soul and the ego desire body or personality, until a point of equilibrium is achieved. This is called a soul merge, whereby the seeker becomes a soul-infused personality. The fourth dimension could be called a transitional reality, for this is where humanity begins to let go of all the preconditioning of the past. The fourth dimensional realm is more emotional in nature, and therefore, the heart and feeling nature begin to be the major focus. The ancients called it the realm of Maya or illusion. The collective mass consciousness of humanity created the lower three levels of the physical realm consciousness, which are the astral planes of the fourth dimension. This is where most of humanity exists mentally until they gradually begin to turn inward and listen to the nudgings of their higher soul self. The ego desire personality is the master manipulator of this realm and it constantly urges one to seek more satisfaction and happiness via sensation and acquisition. When the fourth dimensional stage of awareness is almost completed, you connect with your sacred triad, via the Antikarana, which is a direct stream of light or love or life from your God Seed Atom. At that time, a memory seed atom, stored within the root chakra at the base of the spine, gradually begins to spiral up through the light rod of power, along the path of the spinal column. It then anchors within the sacred mind, which will activate another memory seed atom of higher awareness your new divine blueprint for the coming age within the pineal gland. You will begin to tap into your inner power potential as you move into the higher sub-levels of the fourth dimension. Matter and time become more fluid, and therefore, it becomes easier to manifest what you desire. That is why you must learn to be decisive and to focus your thoughts with clear intention. A disciplined mind links the chains of thought together in a proper order. It is vitally important for you to understand that scattered thoughts are detrimental to your progress. Living in the present moment in the now moment is a critical component in attaining self-mastery. Mental effort is required in order to successfully traverse the path of illumination. Gradually, 
a good portion of your memory of past events will begin to fade as you move out of the realm of the instinctual brain or mind consciousness into the realms of the cosmic stream of knowledge and your sacred mind. Important traits of a self-master are focused observational abilities, as well as harmlessness in thought, word and deed. As an aspirant on the path, greater and greater cosmic truths will be revealed to you. However, you should be aware that the lesser principles of ageless wisdom will constantly be expanded to incorporate the unique rules, laws and truths of the next level of existence in the never-ending cycle of ascension in consciousness. It is important that you do not run away from unfinished business but stay in your present environment or circumstances while you are deciding what your destiny passion is, or what your next step into self-awareness is to be. You must resolve and harmonize the major issues that remain within your auric field the old business at hand. In other words, if your home life is in chaos or if you are dissatisfied in the workplace or in any of your personal relationships, there is inner work to be done before you can manifest harmony and balance in your outer world. Take an inventory and endeavor to discover what lessons are to be learned from each situation. Endeavor to see the best in everyone, and consciously seek to make an attitude adjustment. Every person you interact with, and every situation that is presented to you each day that makes an impact on you, contains a lesson to be learned. The greatest thing that is holding everyone back from attaining self-mastery and claiming the beauty, bounty, joy, peace and harmony which is the divine birthright for all humanity is fear. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, fear of success and of moving out of the comfort zone of your present existence. We have stated before, your earthly contract for this lifetime is in the final stages of completion, and that applies to every soul on earth. We have stated that the divine plan has moved to the next phase or level time is running out and this means that everyone must move forward on the spiral of ascension. This also means that every person on earth is being given an opportunity to write a new galactic contract. That means scripting your future or your future will be decided for you, and it will not be nearly as exciting and filled with potential. Each person must take responsibility for their own past, present, and future. It is more important than ever for each person to know thyself. My brave bearers of the light, at one level, the collective consciousness of humanity has moved deeper into a sense of separation, fear of violence, and anxiety about what the future holds. However, there is another striation of human collective consciousness that is becoming predominant, for this one is growing in strength exponentially day by day. This overlay of consciousness is permeated with unconditional love, hope, desire for peace and harmony amongst all humankind. We tell you that the second band of consciousness the band of divine light is and will overcome the shadows of fear and separation. The progression of the cosmos, within the evolutionary spiral for the return to higher consciousness among all the facets of creation, will not be delayed or denied. You are truly beginning to understand, and the yearning within is growing stronger and more compelling as you reach higher and higher while on your personal sacred journey. In the beginning of this sub-universal journey, we were in perfect rapport and finely attuned, one with another. Together, we are slowly but surely returning to that beautiful state of oneness. I am your faithful friend and constant companion, I am Archangel Michael.